Now let's hear from the head of an English language news outlet still reporting from Hong Kong. Tom Grundy runs Hong Kong Free Press. Uh, Tom, conspiracy to publish and reproduce seditious publications. Can you briefly say what Stand News specifically did according to the court? Well, prosecutors said that uh, Stand News had sought to incite hatred against the authorities through a series of 17 articles. Now, these articles aren't uh, editorials, but they were opinion pieces by Democrats, uh, interviews with activists, a feature about the protests, a hard news piece uh, about a human rights prize. Uh, but today, 11 of these 17 articles were found to be seditious, uh, mostly op-eds. Uh, Judge Kwok saying that Chung and Lam knew of and agreed with the seditious intention of the articles. They provided Stan News as a publication platform to incite hatred against Hong Kong and China. Now, this news outlet arose from the aftermath of the 2014 umbrella movement. It rose to prominence during the 2019 protests, very much a go-to place for the movement to get their updates. Uh, but COVID-19 restrictions and a new security law saw the end of those protests. And a year later, Stan News was raided by about 200 national security police. Around almost $9 million uh, US dollars worth of assets were frozen. Mm. And Stan News deleted its entire website shortly after. Now, Tom, based on what you have seen in Hong Kong since 2019, what sort of sentencing can they expect? Uh, probably not light, but um, Chung and Lam spent a year uh, behind bars awaiting trial. Then they got bail. Uh, now they face up to uh, two years in prison. Um, Chung was just granted bail about 30 minutes ago. In fact, given the passage of a new security law this year, you could face seven years or 10 years in prison if there is a case of sedition with uh, with with foreign forces involved. Um, that colonial era law has been toughened in, in recent months, and it means that should they go to prison, um, they will not be allowed early release. It's unclear yet when the sentencing will occur, but I, I wouldn't want to speculate whilst the trial is still uh, happening. Mm. How do you think uh, this case will affect what remains of press freedom in the city? Well, it's going to certainly have an impact. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Every newsroom in the city is going to have to uh, consider who is writing for them, um, what they are writing. Already, Ming Pao, uh, one of the main Chinese newspapers a few weeks ago, wrote to all of his columnists uh, to be careful. We have already uh, been very careful ourselves with the opinion section focusing on on the hard news but already we are seeing press freedom NGOs uh, decry this verdict the journalists association just said that it exemplifies the decline of the city's press freedom reporters without borders saying that it sets a very dangerous precedent so we're going to be studying this perhaps getting legal advice and seeing what it means for what remains of press freedom in the city tom grundy there the founder of the hong kong free press news outlet joining us from Hong Kong. Thank you very much, Tom.